Hello. Uh, today, again, we will still explore our spreadsheet application. So, it's up to you if you will be using Microsoft Excel, uh, your um, cell phone application, which is WPS, your online application, which is Google Sheets, Calc, your Apple numbers. It depends on what computer that you will be using. So, we will try the function sum and if in the formula of our spreadsheet. Just... Um, follow the steps, uh, listen carefully, and um, I hope you will learn something in this video that can help in your school activity. Okay. Okay, so today we will be exploring again the spreadsheet application. So it can be Microsoft Excel, it can be Google Sheets, it can be Calc, it can be Apple Numbers, or any spreadsheet application. But the most widely used spreadsheet nowadays is Microsoft Excel. But regardless of what spreadsheet application, that you will be using, it shares the same formula. So, today, I will teach you the if function and then the sum function formula in your spreadsheet application. Okay, as you can see here, I've come up with the name of a grocery store. I named it Cardo Grocery Store. So, I've come up with the sales from Monday up to Friday. Um, from Monday, we have this 10,000 sales of the grocery store. Tuesday, 9,000. Wednesday, 6,000. Thursday is 10,000. And Friday is 10,000. Now, the starting capital of this grocery store, I inputted 50,000 pesos. So, the total sales of the week. There are many ways to add the sales. The, um, there are many formulas to add, this, to add up or to sum up the sales. But, the, we use this function, sum function, to make it easily add these sales up. Okay, so again, all formulas in spreadsheet begins with an equal sign. It can be a formula if it don't have an equal sign. So formula is a calculated value. So it should start from equal sign. So equals E9. E9. 9 and 4 equals sum. Okay, the sum is the function, meaning we, we will be adding the E9 colon. Colon represents up to up to Friday, which in the column E and then the row 14. E 14. I'm sorry. E 13. Okay, close. Enter. So the total sales of the week is 45,000 pesos. In the remarks, we will be using our if function. Again, equals if open parenthesis. If the 45,000 in cell F17 is greater than 
the capital which is 50,000 pesos in column D and row 18 gain comma else appear loss so meaning if F17 is greater than 18, it will be declaring gain. But if this cell is lower than the capital, which is 50,000, it will declare loss. Enter. So we have the remarks loss. But if our total sales of the week, example, Tuesday, we will be making it 15,000. Enter. So the total sales of the week will be 51,000. So the remarks of the business, so the business gained from 50,000 to 51,000 pesos. Okay. I hope you learned something in this video. Thank you. Okay. I hope that uh, you've learned something from this video. Keep it up and good luck!